Hey you guys, so I have made an update to my default PSN avatar program thing um, but does it more than just set the default avatar so the, the um, first change is I've added a user agent option up here and this basically gives you fake what browser you're using so you know how every single time I release an update they immediately block the version of Chrome it uses well yeah, now you can just change it to whatever the hell you want and just hit enter and it'll it will be as if it's using that version of Chrome. So that's great. Um, and if we sign in, there's actually another option I've added. And it is to view some hidden information about your account. So it sets it up. Okay, so you can view account secrets. And now we should see over here my account state of birth, account ID, UUID, co um Whatever this thing is, I don't know what it is, but it was in the options. And then SCEE, -E, the region, and then NZ, the country I'm from. And also an option to get the internal entitlements JSON file. What this is, is it is a giant JSON file that Sony has, that has everything you've ever purchased on PlayStation Network, including PlayStation Mobile games. So let's save that. Okay. Um, and now we should have a rather large JSON file right here. Um, let's just use this browse button and select the internal file itself. Okay, and now let's just Okay, so let me just show you if there's something like I can search for a PlayStation mobile game and as you can see it actually shows up. So yeah. Sony never actually deleted your purchase history for PlayStation Mobile. It's all still here. You just can't access it. <laughs> Cause of course. Um, but yeah, that's, that's about it for the update. It lets you dump this file out, which has got a lot of really in interesting information in it, and it lets you get your date of birth from your account, which is something Sony doesn't let you do, and yeah, a few other things, and you can change the user agents of the browser it uses. So that's it, um, thanks for watching, goodbye.